So let us study how to represent decimal numbers on a number line. As whole numbers can be represented on a number line, even decimal numbers can be represented on a number line. So let us start with this number 67.2. So we know that 67.2 lies in between 67 and 68. So what we are going to do is we are going to divide the number line from 67 to 68 in 10 equal parts. 10 equal parts. So let us say this is first part, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, and this itself is 10. So 67.2 will lie on the second part. So this particular thing is 67.2. This second division after 67 is 67.2. The fifth division is 67.5 and so on. And now if you want to find where will the 67.28 lie? So we are going to zoom inside and this particular division that is 67.2 and 67.3. We're going to zoom this particular division and then divide that particular line segment in 10 equal parts. So this is something like this. So we're going to zoom in. So this is that same yellow, uh, blue segment that you saw above. And we are going to divide this also in 10 equal parts. So this is the first one, this is the second, this is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, and this itself is the tenth. So 67.28 will lie on that eighth part after 67.2. So this is 67.28. The next one would be 67.29. And then the next one would be 67.30. And as we know, the zeros towards the end of the decimal place can be ignored. So this is indeed 67.3. And further, if you want to find where will this number 67.284 lie? So what are we going to do is, we are going to zoom this particular division between 67.28 and 67.29, this particular division. Because this number 67.284 is greater than 67.28 but less than 67.29. So we are going to divide this, we are going to zoom inside, divide this line segment in 10 equal parts. So we are going to zoom inside 67.28 over here and 67.29. So we are going to magnify this and we are going to divide this in 10 equal parts. So this is the first, this is the second, so in fact this first is nothing but 67.281, this is 67.282, this is 67.283, this is 67.284, the one that we require, this is 67.285, this is 67.286, 67.287, 67.288, 67.289 and this would be 67.290 or 29. So here lies 67.284. So in order to represent the 67.284 on this number line where we only have whole numbers like 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, it would be very, very difficult. Why? Because first we will represent 68, 67.2 and that would be possible by dividing this segment in 10 equal parts. So 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we have to further subdivide the 67.2 and 67.3 into 10 more subdivisions. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then further into 4 more divisions. So you won't be able to see where the 67.284 actually lies. It lies somewhere over here. But we can't say with much precision. So as the number of digits after a decimal point keeps on increasing, we get more and more accurate answer. But overall, it does not make much difference to our naked eye. I hope you understood this.